AKA Bullets YouTube channel. Hurry up, now tell us why you're here. With that notice out of the way, let's get to talking about the Earnhardt family tree, which looks like this from left to right. Now let's talk about the eldest member of this family, Ralph Earnhardt, who was also a first generation Piston Cup racer in this family. He did not win any races in the Piston Cup, but did win a championship in the second division. Unfortunately, due to his lack of funds, he was unable to race in the Piston Cup full time. And unfortunately, in 1973, at the age of 45, he died of a heart attack. May Ralph Earnhardt rest in peace. Ralph Earnhardt had five children. Uh, these are his two eldest daughters. Only one of them, Kathy, is still alive today. May Kay rest in peace. And also, here are Ralph Earnhardt's two younger sons, Randy and Danny, who unfortunately both passed away. May they rest in peace. Ralph Earnhardt's middle child, Dale Earnhardt, is the one we have all heard of. And for very good reason, because he is one of the most successful Piston Cup racers of all time. Dale Earnhardt also married three times, and here is his family with his first wife. With one of his sons, Kerry Earnhardt, being a former Piston Cup racer in the lower divisions. And also having two grandsons from this family as well. And here is his family with his second wife, Brenda G whose father was a Piston Cup mechanic. And also, this part of the tree is more notable because Dale Earnhardt Jr. is in this part of the tree. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is another successful Piston Cup racer, a third generation Piston Cup racer. And here is the final part of Dale Earnhardt's family tree. This part has the least amount to talk about, so I'll be moving on. Let's talk a bit about Dale Earnhardt, the car in black, the Intimidator, who was born on April 29th, 1951, in Carnapolis, North Carolina, to, well, Ralph Earnhardt and his mother Martha. As a child, Dale Earnhardt liked to race like his father, but his father Ralph did not want Dale Earnhardt to race as well. But, instead, he followed in his father's tire tracks, and decided to race himself, making his first start in the Piston Cup in 1975, but only on a part-time basis, becoming a Piston Cup rookie in 1979. He would go on to win 67 Piston Cup races from 1979 to 2000, his final full season of competition. He also won 10 races at Caladega, and six at Pocono, the Triangle, and also won four Piston Cups, which is more than almost every other Piston Cup racer, aside from the King, Lightning McQueen, and Drive Parkerson, and the same number of Piston Cups as Lee Weathers. Even though Dale Earnhardt had less wins than Craig Shiftwright, he was still arguably better than him, as Dale Earnhardt raced in a more competitive time period and remained one of the best Piston Cup racers till the day he died. Unfortunately, on the final lap of the 2001 Florida 500, Dale Earnhardt died. He died after a hard crash into the turn four wall. Ken Schrader called to him, but he never replied. May Dale Earnhardt rest in peace. Now let's get into some more detail about the Earnhardt family. I can't tell you much about uh, most of these cars other than Kerry Earnhardt. And here are his two sons, Bobby Dale and Jeffrey Earnhardt, who are both next gens. Now let's talk about Kerry Earnhardt who during the 1990s and early 2000s was a racer in the lower divisions of the Piston Cup, mostly the second and third divisions. He never raced in the Piston Cup, but if you look at the Piston Cup's roster in this time period, I could completely understand why Kerry Earnhardt wouldn't want to face these guys. Now let's get to a different part of the Earnhardt family tree. Ray Holm, I don't know anything about him. Jimmy Elledge was a Piston Cup crew chief. Carson Elledge was a former Piston Cup racer when she was younger. 
And here is Wayne Miller, a former second and third division Piston Cup racer, who is currently married to Kelly Earnhardt, who used to be a racer herself and is currently the CEO of JR Motorsports. The race team that she owns with her brother, Dale Earnhardt Jr. And here is Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s family. I don't know anything about his wife or his two daughters. Now let's talk about Dale Jr. himself, who is a third-generation Piston Cup racer and is one of the more successful Piston Cup racers, winning 24 races, which by Piston Cup standards is not that bad. Yes, significantly less wins than his father, but still a very successful Piston Cup racer nonetheless, as he raced from 2000 to 2016, where, well, the next gens forced him to retire! Because, how many stock cars are going to compete with the next gens? But, when Dale Earnhardt Jr. was a Piston Cup racer, he won two Florida 500s and four Caladega races in a row! Inheriting the ability to race well at that racetrack because his father, Dale Earnhardt Sr., was able to do the same. Now, let's talk about his nephews, one of them being Bobby Dale Earnhardt, who used to race in the second division of the Piston Cup right when the next gens emerged. But... He was not very successful and retired in 2019 after only three years of participating in the second division of the Piston Cup. His younger brother, Jeffrey Earnhardt, was much more successful as he regularly races in the second division of the Piston Cup as well as the top division where he's made over 70 starts. Compare it with his older brother, who had zero Piston Cup starts. Bobby Gearshift made more starts than that, and he's terrible! But, Jeffrey Earnhardt hasn't been that good in the Piston Cup or the second division recently. Hopefully, he will have a better season in 2024. And that still makes him better than all of his other racing relatives, aside from Ralph, Dale Sr., and Dale Jr. Well... Here is uh, the Earnhardt family tree in the Piston Cup, not NASCAR, as I said at the start of the video. And here I'm just showing Dale Sr.'s number three, because he was the most successful racer in the family. Coincidentally, this is the third family tree video I made on this channel. Hopefully you enjoyed this video of me describing the Earnhardt family tree. Another Piston Cup Racing family. Piston Cup Racing Royalty. Like the Weathers and Shiftwright family trees that I have previously made. Just like the Earnhardt family tree, family trees with many successful Piston Cup racers. <laughs> button which goes ring 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 after you press it and lightning strikes back and that's as if you subscribed of course and thank you for watching this entire video i am still working on other videos for this channel such as well more family tree videos describing other piston cup racing families as well as a video detailing Chuck Hex's piston cup starts as well as matthew fuel wheels career in detail but i need the time to count up their starts because that is important for those videos. As well as other Piston Cup videos. Such as the 2012 LA 500. Which should all be coming out soon enough. During the advent calendar. Unfortunately, the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine is still going on. This war has been going on for nearly two years. Why did this war happen in the first place? The Ukrainian people just want to live in peace and have freedom. Why did this war happen? The tyrant and bully Vladimir Putin began this war because he is greedy. Why would you want to take Ukraine's land? Did you forget that Russia is the biggest country in the world? Currently, around one-fifth of Ukraine's land is under Vladimir Putin's tyranny. 
These lands include Crimea, the Donbass, parts of Kherson, Zaporizhia, and Kharkiv oblasts in the south and east of Ukraine. And also, it is currently winter, which means it is very cold. And unfortunately, many Ukrainians are being forced to live in the dark and in the cold as a result of Vladimir Putin sending out bombers to bomb their homes. We at the Hashtag Gayables YouTube channel stand with Ukraine in their struggle against Vladimir Putin's tyranny, as well as recognize Ukraine's true borders as shown by this map. Slava Ukraini! Heroyam Slava! Nechai Shvitsya Daritsya! Ukraini! Peremoha! Glory to Ukraine! Glory to the heroes! May Ukraine be granted victory very soon!